Hi, my name's Colin and I live on West Shore Park, Walney Isle, just off the coast of Cumbria. West Shore Park's a delightful little seaside village arrangement for over 50 year olds who appreciate the quiet things of life. I've always adored the sea, so you might think that living here would be pretty idyllic, and so it would be if it weren't for the quiet crisis that's happening just round the corner. Let's nip round seafront and I'll show you something that's been keeping me and a few other people awake at night quite a bit lately. Not bad eh? This is Ernsey Bay, and it's under attack. At first glance it's a gorgeous place to live, but if you look a little closer you might notice something pretty disturbing about the shoreline. In early 2006, almost three metres of land at Sidet Road dropped straight into the sea and nothing at all obvious were done about it. And gradually, throughout the course of 2006, the road's concrete foundations became exposed as well, and of course they too began to fall into the sea, broken drains and all, and still nothing were done. And this year, 2007, this little road will be expected to serve not only all regular local visitors, but also several tens of thousands of additional visitors to two major national events, an important round of the National Kite Surfing Championship and the biannual Walney Air Show. Will we still be able to access Ernsey Bay this time next year? At a guess, I'd say no, it's not very likely. But compared to what most scientists reckon is going to happen worldwide, this isn't worth wasting sleep over. Erosion has always happened, though it's not always been man-made as it is here. But add another two or three metres to the sea level, and it won't just be this road and these houses that are underwater. It'll be a fair percentage of just about everybody's roads and houses. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? King Canute couldn't turn the tide, and I've no reason to think the next dozen or so Prime Ministers will have any better luck. Exactly what do you think it'd take to fix this sort of thing on a worldwide basis? With sea levels rising and erosion spiralling out of control, not only here on Ernsey Bay, but in every low-lying area of the world, what chance is a lonely little voice like mine going to have a being heard? Apart from going as green as you can and keeping your fingers crossed, I haven't a clue what's going to happen. All I know is that, ignore it as they might, this kind of crisis isn't going to go away.